A rare place in the U.S. where Canada is actually south. Detroit, Michigan, where players have worn the winged wheel for over 80 years. Greetings, everyone, along with Stanley Cup winner from 1994, Eddie Olchek. I'm Mike Emmerich. That hallowed trophy will probably be in the building before the evening is over. Tends to be fashionably late when it could be handed out. Think of this from the perspective of the team facing elimination tonight. They know their dream of getting their name on the cup. That cup's going to be in the building but maybe they aren't going to get it. So how do they think about this game? Well, I think that's a little bit of a motivation, Doc, to keep the Stanley Cup behind closed doors, give themselves an opportunity under this adversity to get back in this series. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Jimmy Howard in goal tonight. Maine stay for Detroit after four years in the AHL, following three years at Maine and a year in the U.S. National Team Development Program. Despite those years, he's still young by goalie standards. Semyon Varlamov, fresh from playing in Yaroslavl, Russia in the spring of 2009, became a surprise starter for the Washington Capitals in the playoffs, won seven games and had two shutouts. No one that spring had more, and he was just turning 21. Detroit's got that neutral zone faceoff. Let's it go. The game is over. The series is over. Detroit's won the Stanley Cup. Do you believe the celebration going on? A fitting tribute to a wonderful season. Training camp in September was a dream for this team. It is a nightmare. They got so far. We'll have the same short summer, but nothing to show for it. A traditional congratulations of a handshake goes back five centuries in humanity. But for hockey, it's become one of the most prized moments. Congratulating those who have gone so far. The man chosen playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy. Boy, is this ever well deserved. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. And there's always a pecking order as to how it gets handed off, and that's all a part of Stanley Cup lore. You can only imagine how much soreness you fight through in a collision sport. Guys have lifted this cup with dislocated shoulders after hernia surgeries just two days before. Doesn't matter. It's over 30 pounds. They find a way. You play that hard and that long. You get your names on a trophy, rings on your fingers, and one last photograph evidence of it all.